Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to share my everyday makeup routine that I've been reaching for at the moment. Um, some days I do a dialed down version of this. I don't do this every single day. This is when I want to feel a bit more alive looking and well presented. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I post a lot of makeup videos. Um, but most of them I'm not talking through them, so I don't sort of explain the products and everything. So I thought I would do that today. And I have a few that I really, really love and would really recommend. So yeah, I'm very excited to get into this video. I'm sorry if the light keeps changing throughout this video. I'm sat next to my window, so the sun keeps coming and going. Um, and it was snowing yesterday which is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, my fringe is now out of the way and I'm gonna start with foundation and I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury's Beautiful Skin Foundation and I'm in the shade One Neutral. So I just like to take one pump of this um, and then just start to spread it across my face. I'm using the It Cosmetics foundation brush. And to be fair, one pump is actually quite a lot for me. I usually only use half. Um, I forgot how much comes out with one pump <laughs> but I love the way this looks just so much like my skin and it just covers everything doesn't look too high coverage and I'm just really loving it at the moment and then I go in with a high coverage concealer usually after this once it's all blended in I've been loving a few different concealers at the moment but today I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer and this is in the shade 0.5 Neutral and I just like to put a healthy amount under my eyes and then some going down the centre of my face and then sometimes I also add it here where I get a bit of redness and then I just blend that in with the same brush And when I blend the under eye, I usually take a little bit of it on top of my eyelid at the same time. Because I have very thin skin on top of my eyelid, so my veins show through, which I don't like. <laughs> and I also find it's then just a good base for eye makeup to go on top of. And then for the rest of my face, I've been going in with the Almighty Trio of Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wands. Um, the first one I use is the Contour Wand. And I just add a few little dots around my face, some on my nose, and one under my chin. And I'm not sure what shade this is actually. I think it's... Oh, it's fair to medium. Um, and I just really love these products so much. I really think they're worth the money. I'm then going to use the Pink Gasm Blush and add a few dots of that. I used the Peach Gasm one a few days ago and I don't like it quite as much. I find it's a little too washed out for my skin, which is crazy because I can't imagine what it would be like on darker skin. But yeah, the Pink Gasm one is definitely the one to go for if you're gonna get one. I like to take it sort of up into my eyebrow and keep it quite high on my cheeks. Then finishing off with a little bit of the highlight, I like to put it on the apples of my cheeks so when I smile it's nice and glowing. I then sometimes go in with a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury powder in shade 1 and just put it slightly on my forehead and under my eyes. Let's move on to eyebrows, I'm going to use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Brow Pencil and I'm in the shade 3 in this. No matter what brow product I use, I always end up coming back to this one. I just think the shade is really perfect for me and I love how tiny the pencil is so you can get a really nice sharp line but also make it look nice and natural. So the brows look pretty crazy once I fill them in so I just take the brush and I brush the pencil marks down and then up and I find that gives a much softer looking eyebrow. I will then go in with my favourite brow setter, which is from Refi. 
and it's their brow sculpt and honestly this product needs to be in your life if you have unruly eyebrows like I do because it really sticks them into place <laughs> or even if you just like to go for that sort of soap brow look this one is perfect and it's not too expensive either sometimes I'll go in with the little brush at the other end of the product but I'm just going to leave it today because it went well <laughs> and sometimes if you touch it too much this product it just doesn't work so well moving on to eyes I've been loving the super nudes Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette it just has all of the perfect shades in it for me and I've been really loving doing a really nice soft smoky winged eyeshadow eyeliner so sometimes I just put this one across my eyelid and then sometimes I put this one all the way across my eyelid so I think I'm gonna do that today so I'm gonna start with that shade I'll then take the next darker shade and pop that underneath my lash line on a smaller brush and then finally I'm gonna go in with the dark brown and I'm gonna create a really nice soft winged eyeliner look and I'm going to try and focus it solely on the outer corner of my eye and not going much further than past halfway but that usually doesn't happen <laughs> and then I've been finding recently that if I look forwards and connect the line down to the bottom that it sort of works out a bit better and then I like to just go in with a little brush and just make sure it's really smoked out and doesn't look too harsh I think I might actually take the eyeshadow a little bit further into the corner of my eye and then my go-to mascara at the moment has been the L'Oreal Telescopic and I just love this stuff. It really lengthens your eyelashes and you can get incredible spidery lashes. And then I like to sort of brush out the outer eyelashes so that they sort of follow the shape of the winged liner. Moving on to lips, I'm going to line them with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. This has been my go-to lip liner for so long now. <laughs> I find I use a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products now. I used to not use so many but now they really work for my skin and I love that she's now cruelty free. And then for lipsticks I change it up quite a lot but today I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Super Fabulous. I just popped a little bit of the Bare Minerals um, concealer on the middle of my lips just to add a little bit more sort of definition. And there we have it, that is my finished everyday makeup. I'm just going to take these little pins out. It's getting pretty long now so I have to sort of swoop it to the sides. So there we have it, that is my current go-to everyday makeup routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, all the products will be linked down below. And if you want to check out any more of my makeup videos, then head over to my Instagram, which will be linked down below. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!